What's up, guys? If you got a server from Nitrado and you're trying to figure out how to save a game file onto your PC for Arc that was made on a Nitrado server, you're in the right place. If you've never had your own Arc server and you're thinking about getting one to play on with friends or you're trying to start your own PvP or PvE server, Nitrado has some really good Arc servers. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment and video description for the Nitrado website. I do make a commission whenever you use the link, but it doesn't cost you any extra and you'll actually save some money if you use code or banjo all right let's get into the video saving your arc game files to your pc is good to do for multiple reasons it'll allow you to keep all the progression you've made on your arc server and use it in single player or on another server it can also be used as a backup save file just in case your other save files get corrupted or go missing for any reason i know it sounds scary or overwhelming but i promise you it's not that bad so just stick with me first thing we're gonna do is pull up the Nitrado website like i said earlier the link is in the pinned comment or the video description once you're on the Nitrado website you're gonna need to log in which is at the top right of the website and once you're logged in you just click on my services after you click that, the first thing you should see is the servers. If not, just look in this My Services tab and you'll see Game Server. Just click on that and then you should see the servers. Next thing you need to do is where it says Web Interface, you're going to click these little three little gears that's under it and it's going to bring you to your server dashboard. If you don't see the dashboard, then on the left side in this little information tab, you'll see the little dashboard button that you can press to pull up the dashboard. Once you're on the server dashboard, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You're going to be looking for this right here, FTP credentials. We're going to be using these FTP credentials in a minute or two. So keep this page pulled up. We're going to be coming back to it. Now we're going to open up another tab and Google search FileZilla. I'll leave a link for this in the video description too, if you just want to use the link. Once you're on the FileZilla website, you should see these two gray boxes. One of them is going to say download FileZilla client. One of them says download FileZilla server. You're going to want to download the client. So click that gray button. It's going to bring you to this next page where there's a, another big green button that says download the FileZilla client. You're just going to click that button. If you're on something other than Windows, they have more download options down below. But I'm going to do Windows. So go ahead and click the button. Then you should see this little thing pop up. The ones on the right right here are uh, paid versions of it. We don't need the paid version. We're just going to use the free one on the left side. Click download. It's going to pop up your file explorer asking you where you want to save it. Just save it wherever you want. I'm not going to do that because I already have FileZilla downloaded. But just go ahead and download that. If you need to pause the video while FileZilla downloads to your computer, you can. It shouldn't take a whole lot of time though. Once your download's done, go ahead and open FileZilla. It may look confusing, but we don't really care about the majority of this stuff. We're just going to use it for what we need. Just make sure you don't delete any files, copy files, or move any files around because it could mess something up. Now before we take any more steps, you're going to want to make sure you have your, your Arc server stopped. Mine's already shut down, but if yours isn't, it'll have a stop server button right here or shut down server instead of the start server button right here. Go ahead and press that button. After you shut down the server, we need to make sure that the server is completely shut down. Otherwise, it could mess up or corrupt some of the files. So wait about five minutes before doing the next step. You can pause the video and come back. After you've waited the five minutes, we need to copy these FTP credentials and paste them in these four empty boxes at the top of the FileZilla software. You need the host name, the username, the password and the port. Nitrado makes it a little bit easier for you by leaving these little copy buttons right here. But if you don't want to do that, you could just highlight it, right click and press copy on each of them. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just use these little folder icons, host name, username. Why do I keep highlighting it? I can just click the button, username, password and port. Once you have all the info in FileZilla, you can go ahead and press quick connect. It's gonna do some stuff up here. I have no idea what any of that means, but uh, we don't need to worry about that. It may ask you if you wanna remember the password. I would hit yes, so you don't have to get it off the website again next time, but it's up to you. 
Also a box might pop up that says unknown certificate or something like that. And it'll ask you to verify. You can go ahead and press okay at the bottom right and your server should be connected after that. Only a couple more things to do and we'll be done. And if you have to save the files again in the future, you want to go through that entire first part of the process again. By the way, if this video is helping you so far, it'd be amazing if you could click the shit out of the like button. That way this video can reach more people. Appreciate the help. Now in FileZilla, the left side right here is your computer storage or your local site. It says local site right here. And the right side is your server storage or the remote site. It says remote site right there. On the left side, this little top part right here will let you pick whatever folder you want to save your game file to. So go ahead and pick where you want to save it. And then on the bottom left, you're going to right click in the white area and click create directory. This is going to create a folder for your ARC save files on your computer. So I'm going to just name it something like ARC backup file. So now that I have that ARC backup file, after you create that folder on the right side, you're going to click on ARC SE or double click it, then double click shooter game saved. Once you see the saved ARCs folder, you're going to click and drag that saved ARCs folder to the arc backup file folder that you just made it's gonna do some shit up here it's basically downloading all the server files this may take a second so just bear with it after it's done transferring you officially have your arc save file from your Nitrato server on your pc to use as you please now if you ever want to add the save files back onto the server you just do the opposite of what we just did. You shut down the server on the Nitrato website, wait five minutes, then find the folder that we made for the save file on your computer, which we named ARC backup file. You might've named it something different, but that's what I named mine. You're gonna open that ARC backup folder and then you should see the saved ARCs folder. At this point, what you're gonna do is right click on the saved ARCs folder that's on the right side and you're gonna rename it to saved ARCs underscore old. Press enter and then you're gonna grab the saved ARCs folder from your computer which is on the left side and you're gonna drag it into the server side and it'll start transferring all the info to the server. Make sure the one that you just added to the server is named saved ARCs. Otherwise, the server is not going to know what to do with it and it's not going to work. It might take a little bit longer for the files to upload to the server than it did to download the files to your computer. After everything's done down here at the bottom where it says queued files, we can go back to the Nitrato website and start the server back up. Go ahead and pull the Nitrato website back up and you should be able to start the server. Go ahead and you're going to see this button up here with the X by it this will disconnect the server from filezilla you're going to want to go ahead and press that and then you can close filezilla then you could go to the Nitrato website and go ahead and start your server keep in mind that if you're trying to use a save file that's from an older patch in arc it may not work with the server so every time arc gets updated you want to make sure that the server is getting backed up that way you don't have to run into that problem all right now that the server's up we can hop on and see if it worked play if you want to do a quick check before you open arc you can click the view button on steam go to servers and you should see your server on this list mine is here so i'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that click join arc and here's the server right here should be in the favorites and join the server and here we are that's how you manually save your arc game from your server to your computer Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.